first time of the morning. Ricky with the birds. Ready to get into it? Well, this building's 150 years old. And she gets a little cranky with me every now and then. Air conditioning goes down, locks break, and the list goes on and on and on. But every now and then, she'll give me a bit of a break and I'll get an easy run. A bit like marriage, isn't it? Well, thank God that day's over with Fridays. They're always a rush. All right. What an amazing session that was with the juvenile agile antichinus. Nesting box number one is really helping me out with being educated with their communication skills as they're slowly starting to mature, changing how they interact with each other. So when they come back from hunting, go down to the nest, they're constantly making a chatter noise, communicating with the others that are in the nest. Don't know what they're saying, I can only assume. Is there enough room for me? Can I come in? And they get a reply. Sometimes it's been, uh, you know, just a little bit of a chatter back. Other times, it was quite aggressive. Interesting, this is gonna help me out with writing my book on the juvenile side of the story. How I give back to the reserve is by getting rid of bloody European wasps. Can you see them up there? Hopefully you can. Oh, they just shit me. They devastate the insect population in the reserve. It's not every day you get to meet the powerful owl. I'm having a bit of a snooze up in the tree there. I've taken some good photographs and some good images with the XF400.
Well, this video is a little bit different than I normally make. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm creating mood without using music by just a bit of clever editing. So just practicing, mucking around, always in preparation for that documentary that I'm making. So my apprenticeship is I'm closing in on the end now. I'm getting somewhere. Now behind the scenes, you're not going to see what's going on, of course. The last year or so, it's been really about me getting consistently good audio when I'm speaking to the camera. I don't want to be fixing problems with the audio. I want that all sorted out before I start filming this documentary. So getting consistently good audio when I go into post, I don't want to be fixing things. I just want to do little tweaks that will enhance it. So with that said, it's time for me to wrap up this video and we're heading into a segment I call Thank My Subscribers, which I haven't done for a couple of videos, but we're doing it now. All right, so first off is Martin Elderbridge. Thank you very much for your comments over the years. Always appreciated. Clive Gibson, greetings from Australia. Hope the weather's good in Germany because you're opposite to us in most of Europe is. Yeah, hope the storms and things aren't severe like they have been in the past. Moving on to the United States. Mike McAfee. How's it going with your photography? Been getting any good shots of bears lately? I hope you have. And staying safe from them and the moose as well. Thank you very much for your comments over the years. Much appreciated. Wilson's Nature Photography. And thank you, too, for all your comments that you've made every now and then. Always appreciated. So that's it. Appreciation. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, I'm sorry. But it's just me practicing. Trying to make things entertaining for you guys as well. But it's all about learning for me. Now, if you'd like to subscribe to my channel and get more of this amazing stuff, click on my pretty little face just down here in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Click on the little bell. You'll get notification whenever I do anything else crazy like this. Now, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button down below. It'll help me out immensely try and grow my channel so that I can get a lot more subscribers. Yeah, that'd be awesome if you could do that for me really appreciate if you could and uh, yeah stay away from that don't like one um yeah bad things will happen to you if you do that it's not it's not a good thing to do and if you want to go and have a look at all the um, other amazing things I've done over the years click on my other little pretty little face that'll be here at the end of this video yeah click on that it'll take you to my channel I've done over a hundred videos mucking around like this talking about photography photographing filming in a forest environment give you lots of tips here and there when i go on holidays i like to take the camera with me of course and practice with making little wildlife documentaries as i go along so go and have a browse there'll be something there of interest to you i'm sure now just remember if you don't do you don't get so get out there and start photographing and filming wildlife and i'll catch you on the next one see ya